Today, I'll show you how to go from this to this, or even possibly this. As character artists, unfortunately, a healthy majority of us have a tendency to show a very static character representing our final finished masterpieces. And yes, I'm guilty of it as well. And sometimes it's simply out of sheer laziness. I'll just hit the render button, compile it together in a photo app and call it done. Even as a finished sculpt, our characters should tell a story. And here's an efficient way to pose your sculpts to better represent them when not game ready. To get started, we'll need to install two required add-ons for Blender. Mixamo add-on for Blender and Gobi for the ZBrush Blender Bridge. Links are in the description for those. From here, it's a relatively simple process. You want to first make sure that your sculpts have a lower subdivision. This is very important just to make life simpler and avoid what may seem like never ending loading screens. Once that's done, you hit the go Z button or go B in our situation. And this exports individual sub tools. You can also use all or visible. Back in Blender, in the Gobi add-on, make sure that you have import enable. This will automatically pass the subtools back and forth. Now, I would highly recommend you export your meshes from Blender to avoid any scaling issues. Export your character as an FBX and make sure when you're exporting, selected object is checked. Head on over to the Mixamo page and upload the character. Set up the rig and wait. And wait some more. Once it's finally done, you'll see a little preview animation of the rig character. And now comes the fun of choosing the animation that will breathe life into your character. Even after almost 15 years in this industry, I still get very excited when I see my creations come to life. Once you're good here, you'll want to export your animated character using the default settings. To avoid naming conflicts, delete the previous mesh and import the Mixamo animated mesh. Now if you're good here and you don't need to adjust anything, you like the animations, at this point you can send it back to ZBrush. But for the sake of the video, I would like to adjust correct a few areas of my character a bit more. And thanks to the Mixmo add-on, we can create a pretty advanced control rig by simply selecting the armature and clicking create control rig. Now you can further refine the mesh by improving the weighting in areas, which can most times be easier than doing it in ZBrush. You can also adjust the pose to however you see fit now that you have access to a full control rig. Once you're happy here, select all the meshes for your character and hit export. ZBrush will go through its import process. And boom, there you have it, done. With all your subdivisions and minute detail in full glory still intact. As a bonus, if you have a symmetrical model, you can enable symmetry to continue sculpting if you wish. Now, however, there are some caveats. From this point, I haven't explored a way yet to send the pose mesh back to the rig. I'm not sure if this is possible or even necessary to be honest, but beware of this if you don't want to end up like this guy, ouch. Also note, the way the Go B plugin works, you want to make sure that your lower subdivision is always the one that's active, not the higher subdivision. If your higher subdivision is active when you send your pose mesh back, this is what will happen. And on top of that, you will lose all your high resolution detail. When transferring back and forth to mesh, you must have it on the lowest subdivision. And there you have it. I hope this helped in some way and maybe and hopefully it will help give portfolios a little bit more life and get rid of the A-poles for your presentations.